the Joe Rogan experience. That, yeah. that is a really strange thing, though, that if you can contain it somehow in an incredibly strong pipe, yes. that it won't freeze. Yes, it what, won't what freeze. Is, what is a temperature variant, though? Like, is there a number well, that's where why, it doesn't matter? That's why pipes don't freeze when it just hits 30 degrees outside. Right. That's not when you hear it. Right. It, it, it freezes when it gets really low. And when it, it crack. It, yeah, yeah, and then it'll, it'll, it'll break the copper like it's paper. It'll now, tear it like it's, like it's not. Uh, now, on the flip side of that, Try this at home. Take an ice cube that's like at 30 degrees, okay? Uh, how would you measure that? Pull out an ice cube and just because they'll be at near zero Fahrenheit if you, if you have a good freezer. Just pull out and leave it on the counter. Put, put it on a wooden cutting board, okay? And just let it sit there for like 10 minutes and its temperature will come up. There'll be a point where it hasn't melted yet, but you can take it and squeeze the ice cube and you can force it to melt by squeezing it because you're forcing it into a smaller volume that it currently contains. And the only way you can accomplish that is if the ice turns to water. Then it will mm. occupy a smaller volume. So, so the you, act of squeezing ice can actually melt it. So if you had some sort of a pipe that could physically constrict, like something that had threads in it that could wind down to a smaller size, you could stick a cylinder of ice in it and you could slowly crank it oh, down. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. It would melt. Yes, you can melt if you had some machine that squeezed ice, yeah. and the colder the ice is, the harder, the, the, the more you, the, the harder it would be for you to squeeze it to to accomplish that. Mm. So it's it's sort of fun with ice. In fact, you know what else you can do? This is a harder experiment to do. If you take a a, a mesh like a screen mesh, it has to be sort of wider openings than a screen door would. Uh, so what would this be like? A fence, like a a, a, a chain link fence, and hold it horizontally and get a big block of ice and just place it on top, a block of ice that's heavy. What will happen is the ice, the weight of the ice will melt the ice in the contact points of the chain itself because it's feeling that pressure to squeeze it into a smaller volume. But by the time it melts, the ice has now passed through the grate and it will refreeze on the other side. So you can actually pass a block of ice through a chain link fence vertically Whoa. just by pushing it yeah it's pretty it's a pretty cool it's a slow experiment but it's how real. long i mean it depends on the temperature of the ice and how ice. And, and how and how much it weighs right because the pressure is what this is why this is why you can ice skate why can you skate on ice because the edge of the blade is very high pressure on the ice and it's melting a bead of water and you're actually gliding on water when you're skating you're not skating on slippery ice really yes I thought you were just cutting the ice with the blade. Well, so the blade, have you ever seen a sharpened blade? It's not just flat. There's right. actually a concave cross-section to it. So each edge, the left edge and the right edge, is, is basically a knife edge. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not quite as sharp as a knife, right. but it's, you can feel how it's, it's sharp. So that when you lean on that edge, either your inner edge or outer edge, your entire body weight is being held up on this, on a, very narrow surface area of the blade. So the pressure is extreme. It's like, you know, 1,000 pounds per square inch. You don't weigh 1,000 pounds, but you're not skating on a square inch, right? Mm. So you, 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 you do the math on that, and what you can have is uh, 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 you, you will skate, and you're actually – what makes it so slippery on ice skates is because you're moving on a bead of water that freezes right behind you as you go past it. Dude. Yeah. So it's possible for ice to be so cold you can't really skate on it because even that pressure is not enough to melt it. How cold would it have to be? That I, I, last I did a calculation, it was really cold, like tens of degrees below zero. 